this anyway. All right. There we go. All right. So I know I'm two minutes in, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. So what's going on, people? Uh, anybody that joined this stream, I just want to... I was going to record a um, a video um, and then upload it, but I decided I'm just going to do a live stream. So let's see if I can get anybody on. You know, we can have a conversation, talk about some stocks, talk about going YOLO. Um, and if you get in here and, you you know, uh, you want to interact, hey, let me know what kind of stocks you want to look up. You want to look at your, uh, your portfolio. Let's look at some entry points, some exit points, you know. Let's have a community conversation. So uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the potential of our, uh, our squeeze potential with AMC and GME. I'm lo I'm YOLO. So uh, I want to talk to other people that's YOLO. Anybody get on? Let me know. You YOLO too? I'm YOLO. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to make some money. You're trying to make some money. Put some dollar signs in the chat. Hit the like button. Bring some other people to the party. All right, grab you something to drink, celebrate. Today's was a good day. Today was a good day. I don't know about y'all. I hope y'all in it. I'm YOLO. Today was a good day. I want to talk. So drop a chat. Let me know you're here. Let me know what's going on. So the big thing I did want to uh, share with people is that this – what got me really excited about GME and AMC, uh, I'm looking at this chart, and as you see, I've been doing a lot of dirty work, right? Just trying to trying to see where this thing is going, trying to predict the future. But what really got me, like, really excited about, like, all of this coming together, I know other people doing streams, but what really got me excited about is this, this pattern development. You know, I know we we had this little debacle back here in January, but March is looking looking like a a straight <laughs> runway. Like I made this trend line. This trend line was um, I made this trend line um, Sunday. No, this is Friday. I made this trend line Friday to see if it respected. And so far since Friday, it has respected this trend line. I'm glad my my uh, my chart keeps it. But the thing that got me most excited about GameStop and 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 uh AMC is when you zoom out to a six month view. Let's take a look at that. That is and actually I'll do a year just so you can kind of see for real, for real. Like that is one of the nastiest cup and handle patterns <laughs> I ever seen develop. Like this is a full, this is a full three month almost development of this cup, and all we need is that handle. And um, let me just show you. I know. Uh, let's just Google cup and handle patterns. Let's see what comes up. So, if you if you notice, now not all of them not all of them break upward, but most of them do. Let's look at this one. Uh, this is taking me down a rabbit hole. I don't want that. I just want to see. I just want to see the. I can't I can't bring it up big enough for you guys? Can you see that one? Yeah. These uh. So basically, it's a. Is a cup, and then the handle is that little pullback after that, and then usually it shoots upward. Now with, with in 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 this in this scenario it doesn't break upward, but most of them do, most of them do. Dip, pull back, shoot up. Here we go. Dip, pull back, shoot up. Like a violent shoot up too. This is actually more indicative of what these cup and handles do. It's it's a you know, a violent shoot up after this this next pullback. That handle, yeah, it just is a uh, straight bullish run. Same here, dip, little pullback, violent run. Um, so 
I'm doing all that because <laughs> usually those patterns last over a, a couple of days, you know, maybe a week or two at, at most, right? But this is a three-month pattern. Like, this is the mother of all cup and handles. And what we're looking for it to do is just kind of pull back this way and then take off. Now, what got me even more excited, what got me even more excited, man, is this. If you go to GameStop, look familiar? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, GameStop is trading at, you know, three, you know, well, actually 10 times what AMC, AMC is trading at. So this high was $483 fell all the way down like 40 bucks and it is ready to take off again. Now they're similar. They're not the same. Let me go to the six month. They're similar. They're not the same. But look at that pullback. It's already been the pullback. I'm looking for GME to skyrocket like this week. Like based on based on these. Hey, if anybody in here, man, like, you know, go ahead and uh Go ahead, drop it in. I know I'm just starting my channel, so you know I ain't expecting to have a bunch of people jump on my stream, but um, I'm, I'm gonna stay on here long enough to try to get some of you on here. So, and then we can have some fun. You know, um, I want y'all to get to know me. Uh, I want to kind of get to know the people who uh, who looking for some technical analysis on their stocks. You know, I'm just trying to do what I can to help spread, you know, education for all our retail investors, especially for people who have a learning curve with it because I had it. So I know how to try to relate that that content. So that's that's the reason why I got into this. I ain't getting into this just to be a face on YouTube or anything like that. Like I, I want to have fun with this. I want to engage other people who are, are trying to learn like me. I ain't no expert, you know. I'm just I'm just talking about something I like. That's all I'm doing. It's not financial advice. But I'm YOLO. I'm YOLO in this, and I'm I'm pretty doggone excited by what I'm seeing. I look like we already got the handle. Maybe just a little bit more of a pullback. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I see a violent, I see a violent roar upward to 200 bucks. Oh, man. Let's talk about my portfolio. I got a public portfolio, and... Um, I'm going to start doing other videos with, um, you know, kind of going over the portfolio and, and my stock picks. But I had a pretty good day. Uh, I, I I had a um, I released a video yesterday talking about three stocks that I was trying to get into, or you know, find a sweet spot for people. So uh, all three of those stocks, six percent and above today. You know, pat pat myself on the back. Let's look at AMC right now. AMC at nine dollars. AMC is gonna be trading at at least ten dollars tomorrow, if not better. AMC is gonna be look. I, I'm thinking about YOLO and some call options. To be honest, it's a lot of. Let's look at the call options for a nine dollar call right now. A, a, a nine dollar in the money call. It's only uh, 118. <laughs> Man, it's tempting to get a couple contracts of that. I would want to go for it. Um, if you, if you, now, the way to really force the squeeze is like, you know, more in the money calls. You do in the money calls, like deep in the money calls. So something like this. Uh, Eight seven dollar strike, maybe the eight dollar strike. Actually, the nine dollar would be more deep in the call, deep in the money now too, because I don't. It's it's going to trade at ten dollars tomorrow. I can, I, I can. I'm I'm willing to, you know, put some put something on that. Put like sriracha. I'm gonna put that on everything. <laughs> it's gonna be trading at ten dollars tomorrow. So all of you bag holders who bought the first time that when Robinhood shut it down, you got a chance to get your money back. You're going to have a chance to get your money back. All right. Let's talk about. 
Let's look at the short volume. Let's see if Intel updated any of these numbers. And anybody, man, like, uh, you know, you come across this video later because I'm pretty sure a lot of people ain't going to join me now. But maybe we'll see. <laughs> you come across this video later. Got to do your due diligence. Got to gotta go ahead and, and look for things yourself. What, what stands out to me, and I'm on short volume ratio for uh, AMC, um, this number was down to like, you know, something lower. Like I don't, I thought it was a hundred thousand earlier, but who knows? You know, take it with grain of salt with some of these, uh, you know, some of these numbers. Uh, we saw some funny stuff back in February when they was late to, you know, uh, release all of the info. You know, so. But look, but look at this short to borrow rate, rate fee. That is what stands out to me. That eight point six five percent. It might not seem like a lot, but it is. It's huge. It's huge. When you're talking about millions and millions of dollars, that is huge. And and their 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 um clients ain't gonna want to be paying that just because you shorted the stock over, um, you know, overshorted it. You overplayed your hand. Yo, I, I think we got some more people on. Hey. Drop me a uh, drop me a comment. Let me know you here. Hit a uh, you know hit the like, hit the like subscribe button. Let me know you here. I'm Yolo. Want to talk about being Yolo? Let me know what you in for. How much y'all in for? What's a Yolo number to y'all? Matter of fact, like let me know like what do you think that you your number might be? Or I wouldn't even say a number. Let me know your percentage. Like, if you in you in AMC, if you gain like, you know, three thousand percent, would you sell, or you, would you hold? What's the moon for y'all? You know, if if you in on this play, you better think about what the moon is for you. You better think about what the moon is. You know, everybody everybody talking about hold for the moon. That's that's all fine and dandy, but what is the moon? Better figure that out, cause um, it ain't gonna be too long before we get there. That's just my belief, not financial advice. Just my belief. It ain't gonna be too long. It's gonna play out. It's not gonna be tomorrow. I ain't gonna say that. Might not even be this week. Um, I'm gonna pull up this that I saw on the Wall Street bets. Um, this is strictly talking about AMC, AMC short squeeze newcomers. You need to read this. Uh, so a lot of you may think that we're going to the moon this week. Love the optimism, but this isn't the right way to go about it. We have to keep our expectations as low as possible and be numb to the whole thing. Numb to what the so-called professionals are telling us. Numb to the dips. No, you buy more. Numb to the spikes. 15 to $30, and we just keep holding. We need to end the week over 10 to $15. As far as I'm concerned, that's all we really care about. Uh, they believe a short squeeze is coming within the next two to three weeks. Uh, that's what the research leads them to believe, and many others uh, feel the same way. So if it happens this week, then great, but hold until, and I can't read all that because um, I can't put that on my channel, but you can read it for yourself. Uh, but hold it until uh, they see the price go 15, 20, 30, by big dips in between. So um, what they, they're essentially saying is prepare for a roller coaster. This ain't going to be no straight line. It's going to be a roller coaster, y'all. So you might get all your money back tomorrow. You going to sell? So, got to think about that. What's your point? What are you going to sell? <laughs> you, gonna, you know, you've been, it's a lot of y'all that went YOLO the first time back in in January. And you've been red ever since. Ever since. It's been a whole, almost two months. You going to sell as soon as you get green? Or you gonna you gonna still hold for the moon? See, that's hey, everybody's different. Everybody diamond hands. I will tell you this though. Here's one thing: ain't nobody else gonna tell you, but 
this this is the reason why if anybody come across this video, I want you to trust the information that come out of here because I'm gonna keep it 100. And the 100 thing is this: if you ain't if you ain't got nothing if you if you ain't got nothing more than 2,500 shares or better, right? If you ain't holding 2,500 shares or better, your whenever you decide to sell is not going to mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. Now. I will preface that by saying if a lot of y'all that has, you know, a thousand here, a thousand there, you know, start selling. Then yeah, that can that can put a dent in it. But overall, we see the thing is we got these big dogs involved. Let me let me just so I I I know everybody's saying hold, hold, hold for the moon. And the only reason, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason you're gonna hold is to be greedy. <laughs> That's it. We only holding to be greedy. We trying to squeeze. We trying to milk this pig as long as we can, for as much as we can. That's the only reason we hold it. But you got to be realistic about what that is for you, because you know when people see the number, the magic number they got, they not gonna hold. They're gonna take and run, right? So you got to know what that is for you too. You know. Um, and so, by your own research, you should know exactly what that what that ballpark might be. You know, I'm hearing I'm hearing the new the new thing is try to get AMC to a thousand. Look, I don't have no tattoos, okay. But if we get AMC to a thousand and I'm able to cash in on that, I will get my first tattoo. It would be an AMC logo with the with the with the price tag eight dollars and one cent. Okay, book it. It's on tape. You can roll the film after the fact. I want y'all to hold me to it. Anybody come across this video, I want y'all to hold me to it. If if AMC moons and I'm able to cash in on $1,000 per share on the position I have, I will tattoo AMC logo on my arm and I will put the price number $8.01 because we know that's significant for... Uh, what happened on Friday? So, book it. Hold me to it. If we reach a thousand, yes. Do I re think we're gonna reach a thousand? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I, and I'm not trying to be, you know, pity part. I'm trying to be realistic. That's what I'm all about. Cause I ain't trying to send nobody y'all. I ain't. I ain't on that at all. I ain't trying to send nobody y'all. <laughs> AMC might get the three hundred. Five, maybe. Five. What do y'all think is going to... When you come across this video, drop it in the comments. What do you think AMC going to get to? AMC on the trading. AMC hit a, a high of $25. Prior to pandemic, all time, it's only hit a high of 33 Five hundred, <laughs> maybe. Appreciate the likes. Anybody else come across this video? Go on, hit that like button. Come on, get me in the rotation. I'm a, I'm a cool guy, y'all. I promise. I promise. I'm funny too. I will tell a joke. <laughs> oh man, I'm begging. I'm begging people to come join me on this journey. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm feeling good because I'm YOLO. You know what I mean? It, it feels good when, you know, you made a decision that you can live with good, bad, or ugly. So, you know, hey, we ain't never going to have a chance like this ever again because after this happens, they're going to change the rules. You better bet your bottom dollar they're going to change the rules on us. <laughs> can't have you little apes taking money from big old Melvin Capital. Can't do that. Mm -mm. Nah, 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 nah. What are y'all doing? Let's see. What's going on in the Wall Street bets? These beans be having me having me down. Let me refresh. Let's see what we got. So somebody did buy a S ton of 
shares after the bell <laughs> when YOLO for real. That is, is that it was that really a, a twelve million dollar after hour sale? That is really a really cost them. They bought a hundred and five. Hundred and five thousand shares at a hundred and twenty dollars. That is yeah, that that's twelve million dollars. <laughs> Somebody went YOLO. So hey, salute to whoever went YOLO after hours. That's an institution though. Come on. That's somebody with some long money. I'm telling you, not hey, this is not dead cat. This is not dead cat. Hey, so you know what? It actually gives me um an opportunity. Anybody come across the stream later? You ain't in on GameStop. I think, but before I give you GameStop, I think AMC is actually the better play. Let me just say that. GameStop is the most risk reward play as far as like it can be extremely risky or it can be extremely rewarding. But I think AMC is the more safer bang for your buck play. And AMC can moon. AMC can actually moon. And I'm going to give you the different scenarios of which one, you know, is which. And you can make your own decision if you're not in or if you want to increase your position. So let me pull up uh, GameStop. So let's do some technical analysis. I know we got these lines here already. I'm, You know, we can't we, – with these type of stocks, the way they've been trading, honestly, we got to kind of throw all this crap out the window. Almost. I mean, still technical points of support and resistance that we need to respect. Um, it's like we got this resistance level here at 130. Um, look at the five-day. This trend line can go I don't need you no more um we're not doing none of these anymore so I'll well I can keep them for now all right so what I'm looking at is I'm gonna map out and I hope this is clean enough well you can see I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit but I want to map out all of these levels, so we know what we what we're looking at. Um, come this week, so here we go. This is today. Here we go. This is today. Um, so based on previous history, the uh, first little initial run up um, from last week. If you're looking to get in this play. Um, you gotta look at you gotta look how it, it, it kind of traded today. Um, so we open we opened the market today um, at one hundred and two. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong day. Okay, we opened the day at um, one hundred four, um, and it's been price action up ever since. Um, so now it's looking like. That let me make some price adjustments. It looking it's looking like man after I was just ripping too. It's ripping, man. So it looked like it held support strongly um, after the bell at one fifteen. I'm gonna look for that. I know we could take after I was with a grain of salt, but I'm gonna look for that to kind of serve as support. Going in tomorrow, maybe even back down to the 109. That they served that strong support here too, uh, which was also previous resistance at another point. So, um, depending on how how much excitement in the pre market happens and how far it gets pushed up prior to the opening bell, um, if you're looking to enter this trade, if you're not in GameStop and if you're actually looking for a safe entry point to try to ride this, uh, I would look. Somewhere as close to 109 as you can and, and try to enter the trade if you want to do that. Um, that's probably your safest bet. Uh, support level, strong support is at $100. 
Um, but seeing that, you know, we're trading at 120 now at close, um, I doubt if we're getting all the way back down there. So I will look to 109. It's close to 109. It's possible uh, to enter the trade if you're going long on it. Um, and AMC, if you're not in um, on AMC, you can kind of get rid of this trend line. And uh, let me know, are you in on these plays? Hit the like button. Let me know. Talk to me. Let's look up some things. Let's have some conversation. You know, I'm YOLO. I'm excited. I want to talk to people who's excited too. I'm just a, I'm just somebody who's trying to talk to you about something I'm excited about, you know. Want to get to know y'all. want y'all to get to know me. Go ahead and smash that like. I appreciate it. Let me know in the chat. So, AMC looks like... Man, it's following my trend line. I made this trend line on Friday. And Friday, it followed it. Today, it followed it. Let's, I'm, I'm not going to move it. I want to see tomorrow if it follows it. If it follows it tomorrow, then my prediction of trading over $12 by the end of the week will come true. You know, that, I mean, I'm just following the technicals. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm look. I'm... <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, if we're trading by, if we're trading over ten dollars, come Thursday, we're gonna we're gonna see some violent price action. We're, we're gonna see some very violent price action because you you best believe some of these some of these um you know these shorts are gonna get they they're gonna they're gonna get you know, they're gonna get scared. They're gonna get out of their positions. They're gonna close. And then if you look at fintel.io. Let's look at uh, AMC because I got these both up. Institutional ownership, and it ain't about us. Don't think, don't think that you know it's only us controlling this. No, no, no. As I told everybody, and the only the only way that this is ever gonna move, the way that we want it to move, is when the big dogs get involved. Okay, the people with the long money, pause. <laughs> when they get involved, yeah. Look at this. Somebody new just bought in today. 51,000 uh, shares. 1 million shares. These, these, these. Uh, hey, <laughs> look at this. this. Today, two new people bought in. 1 million 600 shares. 51,000 shares. Yeah. Look at this. This institutional ownership is crazy. All these people bought in in February. One, two, three, four. No, it's 2019. Sorry. Okay, so one, two, three. So four big institutions took over at least 15% of the company. Okay, so look at this. People getting scared out of their put. So if it's red, uh, this is this is basically uh, institutional move, move, um, move, uh, movement. So if people bought in, uh, it shows their positions. If they're green, they bought in for the first time during this period. Um, if they're red, they left their position. So here is um, IMC Chicago LLC. They had a put. They had a put on AMC. They got out of it. They sold their put. They're getting out of it. This next put option is still there, so they still in it. They're still trying to. They're, they're still trying to hold that put position. Uh, but look at all these. Um, this company right here put a call in. <laughs> put a call in. Jumped in for the first time. Put a call in. Yeah. Call put. It's, you know they, they're holding on to it, but I bet you're going to get scared out of that put. Here's another put. Um, there's a new put option right here that came in. They're gonna get scared out of it. Depends how long the puts are. I don't know how far they go, how far they out. You know, they don't give us all that information. But um, when the big dogs get involved, <laughs> we in for a treat. Let me um, uh, let me go to inst institutional ownership here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Look at this. 226. They bought in the GameStop. 226. They bought in the GameStop. 226. 
New people getting on board. New people getting on board. You, do you see anybody leaving? Only people leaving here. This IMC Chicago. They they left they left a long position, but put a put on there. I don't I don't get it. I don't get their strategy, but we'll see. They had a long position, put a put. Unless they went long on a put, I don't know if that <laughs> really is is a thing. Maybe they put it for you know a year or two out. Figure that after the moons, is, they can make money on it falling down, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, anyway, who else is YOLO, man? Let me know y'all YOLO. I'm YOLO, man. I am bullish. I'm looking to buy dips. I got on my public portfolio. Let's come, let's come out of here. I'm in on AMC. I got 35 shares at $5.60. I got an, in this portfolio, I, I got another 300 shares in another portfolio and then another, you know, maybe 75 in another one. So I'm YOLO on, on AMC. I got 30 shares of GameStop at about 89 a pop. So, you know, I'm deep in the money on that too. Like, I, I, I need this thing to move. So, I hope y'all in. All right, so, uh, yeah. So, I want to tell y'all, like I said, it, this, thing can, this thing can drag out over, over a couple of weeks. Don't think it's going to happen this week. Um, I don't know if y'all seen the due diligence, but I, I, I did post a video where I read the due diligence from uh, Hayes Pixel um, from beginning to end pretty much. Uh, it was, it's a very long video. It's 46 minutes, but I, I want to make sure that anything I put out on this channel um, is information that you can take and digest. I don't, I'm not trying to do any clickbait. I, I want to build a community where we talk things and I share information and talk about things I'm excited about and things that you're excited about, right? So, yeah. So I, I'm not trying to cherry pick what information I give you. You know, if I if I give you a play, I'm not only going to give you the play, but I'm going to give you a little bit of the, the due diligence behind it as well and, and an entry point. That's, you know, that's the theme I'm developing for this channel. It's called The Sweet Spot. You got to find got to find that that stock in the sweet spot and ride that that roller coaster up. So So yeah, so what to expect for AMC tomorrow? Like I like I drew this trend line back in on Friday of last week, it respected it today. I wanted to continue respect it tomorrow. Tomorrow, if it respects it, we can we can end we can end the day somewhere near near I would say around ten dollars sixteen cent tomorrow. That'll put some of y'all back in the money, won't it? Go and hit that like button if you do. Bring somebody else to the party. More more y'all to hit the like button. They come across the stream. Bring more to the party. You know. You can bring your champagne, you know, and 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 have a uh, have a good time as we uh we we bleed these shorts dry, because it's long overdue. You know, retail investors been getting crapped on forever. It's our turn now, so let's do this. All right, so let's see what else is on Wall Street bets. <laughs> These memes be having me dying. This is the raw talent. I don't know what it is. Diamond Hands bought GME at four hundred and ninety three dollars when it was at its fifty two week high. Oh wow! No, no! Wow! Y'all see this? That's Yolo. That is Yolo. Seven shares at. Four ninety three. They used to spend three racks. They was down two. Oh, oh my god! They 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 was down seventy nine percent. Wow! And they bought eighty more. They bought eighty more at three. Dang, wow! Wow! They yolo for real, for real, for real. I ain't mad at them. They yolo for real. That's YOLO. <laughs> that is YOLO. Wow. Wow. If they can hold, we can hold. <laughs> I, 
Hey, where, hey, where y'all holding it? What uh, what what number y'all holding it? <laughs> man, man, being the I, I don't know if I could hold it four hundred. Uh, I guess you got no choice, right? You ain't got no choice if 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 you if you caught that high, you 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 already went down with the ship. You might as well pray on recovery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't I don't know what I would have done. You know, that's that's damn <laughs> that's diamond hands for real. All right, I probably can't show everything on here. It can probably get a little a little crazy. All right, so I wanted to do this stream because I I wanted to give an opportunity for people to jump on and um you know kind of interact. I'll try to do more. I may even come back later. I don't know. Um, yeah. I love to talk GameStop. And I'll talk about some stocks you want me to look at. Like, you got any ticket symbols? Um, put y'all on to a play. Um, you know what? Did y'all did y'all see the big mover today? Did y'all see the, big, the, the real big mover today? Uh, it was... Let me find it. Um, uh, this one, this one, moon today. Look at this. I don't know what's up with that, but it, it went from, well, actually, hold on. Let me go back. Uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. It was one that jumped up today. I, I had no idea about it. If you know which one it is, put it in the chat. I'm I'm trying to trying to go through my history and look at what I was what I was doing some analysis on. Damn. There we go. Anybody know about Rocket? RKT? Look at this. This thing mooned today. This thing mooned. Look at this. It went from today, it went from trading at 22 to 26. It started back at $20 on Thursday. Anybody, anybody in this? And it's still rising. Any news on it? RK, RKT. Let's look at RKT. Not ready. Uh, it's not. It's nothing really. They playing a dividend four days ago to declare the dividend. Is that what made it a, a dollar eleven dividend? Are you kidding me? Is this real? Yeah, February twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Rocket companies declare one point eleven dollar dividend. Payable March 23rd for shareholders of record March 9th. Hey, okay. Is that what made this price jump like that? Company skyrocketing right now compared to last six months trading action. There are just all the buyers to get in before the rec the shareholder record day. If so, can Okay, so is everybody jumping in on Rocket because because they they announced that they they're doing a dollar 11 dividend? Can anybody confirm that? I mean, look at this. Look at this price action. It was trading at $18 last week. It's at 26 and counting after hours. This thing ain't this thing ain't slowing down either. <clears throat> now, it will crash. It will crash at some point, but it this will crash, but this looks like support. This looks like consolidation here. This $24 price level. If, if you know, if I'm looking to quick swing this one, yeah, you know, if people was on right now, like here's a here's a swing lesson. Like this thing, once this thing crashes, it's going to come back to earth. Look at this; it was resistance here, and when it broke through, it became support. So when this thing comes back to earth, I'm looking. If if I if I feel like it can go back up, now it's. This is all time high as it look like, but if I if, if it has some bullish momentum, then I want to try to get in around 
24 if I even 24 close to 24 as I can. Maybe even maybe even 2375. Write it back up if it's going to do that. It already served as you know, it already served as a resistance point here. So we know it's support. We know that's solid support. RKT. And they got a dividend. I want probably want to keep your eye on this one, y'all. I don't know. I wouldn't chase it. Definitely wouldn't chase it. I mean, it was just a week ago. You know, it was down here in the, in the low 20s. Looks solid, though. I don't know anything about the company. You know, I'm just trading it off the technicals. And off the technicals, let me know. I ain't going after this. <laughs> I ain't going after this. I missed, missed that boat already. So, ah. Uh, it's all good. But yeah, anybody know anything about it? I, I I thought it was some other news about it, but who knows? Let's see. Let's look up. Hey, anybody else bag holding Tilray? Anybody else bag holding Tilray? You bag ho you bag holding. Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button too. And bring somebody else to the party. I need the like, I need the like buttons. You know, the algorithms help kick in. You know, we can bring other people to the party. So, you know, if you're seeing this, click the like button. Let me know. Hey, this is this is a party. This is, this, you know, I'm trying to lighten up the mood. You know, bring y'all into the next trading day with some, some good energy because we are on our way. You know, anybody was YOLO. I had to talk to y'all because I'm YOLO and I just want to express it to other people who might be on the same page as me. So... We can have this conversation. We can also talk some other stocks, and I want y'all to get to know me as I try to build this channel, uh, you know. And I want y'all to be able to trust the information I give y'all. You know, I, I ain't I ain't no expert. I just try to funnel through as much as I can because I know what learning curve it was for me, and so I try to present it in the same way that uh, other people can learn from. That I think helped me as well. So that's what this channel was all about. Till Reyes. Tilray is, ugh, yuck. I'm bag holding Tilray. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of y'all are too. Unless you were smart, jumped out. Unless you were smart, jumped out before here. You know, maybe here. You jumped out. This this long red candle got out. All the smart people got out right here. All the smart people got out right here. This is probably, you know, I mean, you really couldn't get out here. Why? Because it, ha it happened after hours. They dumped it after hours. You know, and that's that's one thing, um, you know, younger traders is going to learn. Like, you know, Robinhood limits you. You know, you can't trade after hours on Robinhood. You know, your order don't get filled to the next trading day. Uh, but some of these other brokerages um, allow a little bit, especially Weeble. Weeble allows um, aftermarket trading. Pre market trading. This trend line is not respected. It can go. Yeah, Tilray looked like it, it has found a bottom, though, around $25. We could be on our way back, I hope. 25 25 is low. Look like it's right at the next resistance point. Yeah, it needs to get over that twenty six dollars. It gets over twenty six dollars, then more than likely we can get back up to twenty eight, maybe. Maybe twenty eight, twenty nine. Look like twenty nine more. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it ain't looking good for Tilray, y'all. <laughs> We're gonna hold that one for a little while. Especially anybody who bought up here. Anybody who bought up here in the 40s and the 50s. Got a long way to go. Got a long way to go. But the the good news is we know that at some point it's going to be declared federally legal or decriminalized federally. Um, and then it's going to skyrocket because that's the only thing holding the banks back from giving some of these cannabis companies the loans 
that they need to expand in America because they're selling an, an illegal product. So that's what that's what it is. And so until then, <laughs> until then we're gonna hold this bag. But once that news hit, once 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 that because the, the 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 resolution already passed the House, the Senate just got to take it up and pass it. But once that and 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 Biden got to sign it. And once that happens. Phew, but I think even on the rumor that it's going to happen, it's going to it's going to do that. And if you ever learned the lesson, learn from me on CCIV. I'm bag holding CCIV. I ain't never gonna forget this lesson. I ain't never gonna forget this lesson. Let's look. Hey, I t- I'm totally transparent on this channel. So that's why I decided to make this 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 portfolio public. Look, I. <laughs> So I, I, I organize these by, you know, the movers, right? And and the bag holders is down at the bottom. Um, Churchill Capital. I'm in 10 shares, $41. Bag holding, big time. Big time. <laughs> oh, man. It's okay. But what happened... Look at this. Here's the rumor. Let me go back. Let me go back a little more. There we go. Here's the rumor of the merger. Here's the news of the merger. Buy the rumor. Sell the news. So, I learned that lesson. I learned that lesson the hard way. That same pump and dump happened to us on uh, on Tilray. But you know, we all new investors and, and, and we the sheep. You know what I'm saying? We 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 fresh blood. These people have been doing this for years. They know how the game go. We don't know what to expect. We just throwing our money in and we hoping for the best, right? So the edge we gotta create is learning how to navigate and how how to trade with strategy in order to, you know, fit in and not only fit in but take advantage of the market knowing and anticipating what these market makers and and, and um, professional traders and institutional uh, investors are doing and how they play the market. So we know how we play the market as well, All right? So buy the room and sell the news. Always remember that. You heard it here. You heard it here and you saw it here on the chart. All right, family. Let me see. One more last time. Let's go GameStop. Oh, man, that is a nasty cup and handle. That is a nasty cup and handle. Man. Oh, I, we just needed to. Because after, the, the reason why I got these price points out here, because after it hits 130, is here's the here's the price points we got to pay attention to 130 um 150 psychological 170 after 170 it is 200 it is nothing after it is nothing after 170 stopping it before 200 after 200 is nothing stopping it before 235 all right this thing is straight moon in a matter of a day or two. So, yo, <laughs> keep your eye on the prize. Again, before I let y'all go, you ain't in on this trade. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Invest in the stock market at your own risk. But if you want to find a sweet spot, you got the chocolate stocks. We find a sweet spot. You want to try to get it to the support level as close as possible. This is 109. Get as close to 109 as possible. If it pulls back, you know, I mean, these hedge funds want to win just as much as we do. It pulls back. Support is at 100. Support is at 100. All right? So if, if you ever see a pullback below 109, look to get it around 100. Closest to 100 as possible. I'm not saying it's going to come back to 100. But 100 is solid support. More or less 102, 103. All right? So it might not come back to exactly 100. We don't know. We don't know what to expect. 
but I want to give you some some things to look at. So if you look in the end of this trade, and again, if you use like Robinhood or a, a brokers that can trade fractional shares, you ain't got to buy the whole share. Play the percentage. You just play the percentage. So you want to slap fifty bucks on GameStop? Slap fifty bucks on it. See, I have a uh, another position on GameStop, but what I did just to see how much return on investment I would have got. On the way back up when GameStop was starting to um, moon again, um, I put a dollar on it around $60 on its way up just to see what it do. And um, it almost doubled already. So if I were to put $100 on it, it would have been $200 already. Um, put $1,000 on it, would be $2,000 already. So this thing has the potential. <laughs> man, man, man. I think this is good news after, you know, the week we had. We got slaughtered in the last week or so. But it, it gave me a chance to pivot. I, I got some more microvision. Microvision doing good. I'm in a, a 14. It's at 18. Got 35 shares. I'm riding this one to the promised land, baby. I did a video on this. I did a video on this. I'm telling you. No, stay stay with me. Stay with me, y'all. Bring somebody else to the party. All right. So, anyway, I gotta I gotta keep this moving, y'all. You know, it's been fun. I'm trying to uh, liven things up. Have a chance to talk to the audience. I re I release another video later, uh, doing some technical analysis on specific stocks, but. In the meantime, I am also a mix engineer, and I have uh, a client that is re re uh, requiring my services. I have to mix a record, so I need to get to that. I'll probably be uh, uploading a video towards the end of the night, um, talking about the market tomorrow. So um, you come across this, leave something in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about some other stocks. Let's talk about being YOLO. All right, family. I need y'all, uh, I need y'all with me, man. You know, we're gonna we're gonna keep this energy going. All right, y'all.